Hello and welcome again to Roman Vendelanda, a creation made possible by the software Medieval Engineers. Now that the build is almost complete, I want to create a series of videos describing just what it is you're seeing. Whether you're a gamer or a casual visitor, my hope is that you can come away with an idea of what this place is all about, and really experience it. So today, a little stage setting. What was Vendelanda? Vendelanda was a Roman fort that sat about a mile behind Hadrian's Wall, in what's now northern England. Hadrian's Wall was begun about AD 122, at the height of the Roman Empire. The 15-foot-high wall stretched 74 miles, crossing Britain from sea to sea. With a couple interludes, it served as the Empire's far northwestern frontier for 300 years. The first known fort at Vendelanda was built about AD 85, almost 40 years before the wall. For those 40 years, Vendelanda was part of a series of forts that made up the early frontier, linked by a major east-west road, now called the Stain Gate. After the wall was built, 14 new forts were added directly to it. The old Stain Gate frontier became redundant, and many of its forts were torn down. But Vendelanda lived on and thrived, proving that the Roman army valued this spot highly. They weren't the only ones. After the fall of Rome, when much of the old frontier was abandoned or given over to lawlessness, Vendelanda still held on, supporting a community deep into the so-called Dark Ages. Over its long history, Vendelanda was knocked down and rebuilt more than half a dozen times. What I've reconstructed is the best known of Vendelanda's many rebuilds, the 3rd century fort. It's the fort that you can see the most of when you visit the site today. And it marks Vendelanda's height and its heyday, a time of relative peace with a strong garrison and a thriving town. The 3rd century garrison was the 4th cohort of Gauls. This was an auxiliary cohort of 500 to 600 men, mixed infantry and cavalry, originally recruited in what's now France. Unlike the elite legionaries, auxiliaries were the day-to-day -day workhorses of the Roman army, manning the frontiers and being sent all over the empire, wherever they were needed. So how many soldiers served in this fort? We don't know exactly. It's pretty clear that the north part of the fort was taken up by six infantry barracks, each divided into eight cells, with each cell holding eight men. A barrack block then held about 64 men. Each block was known as a century, and was led by its centurion, who lived and kept office in the larger quarters there at the end. Vindelanda's cavalry is harder to figure out, mostly because no 3rd century cavalry barracks have been found on site for certain yet. They were in the southern part of the fort, which is being excavated in real life now as I make this video. Two likely cavalry barracks have started appearing, under tons of later debris and much more will be known in coming months and years. What is known is that along the wall, cavalry soldiers were housed with their horses. I've represented that here by creating sets of barrack blocks, each containing stabling for four horses on the ground, and a loft area above for four soldiers to sleep. It's not known that this was done, but this works very well for the size of the buildings that are being uncovered now. While infantry were broken into centuries, Cavalry had termi, each terma being about 30 men and 30 horses. So in my layout, two cavalry barrack blocks add up to one terma. My current setup has three termi, but it's more likely this number was four, for about 120 cavalry total. I may swap out a couple current workshops and turn them into one more terma. Anyway, the best guess is that here in the 3rd century, Vindelanda held about 390 infantry, about 120 cavalry, and of course the commanding officer, the prefect. So a little more than 500 soldiers calling this 3.6 acre fort home. That's all for today. Join me next time for a tour of more of the fort where I'll try to explain a little more about what I've put in and why. Thanks for watching.